in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. First, let's go ahead and create a new timeline. We're going to unselect this use project settings and select this use vertical resolution. Now let's go over to effects and drag in our fusion composition. Now right click over here and use this. Click on this change clip duration and change this to 120. Right click over here and click on open in fusion page. Now we're going to drag in a background and let's change the color. First of all, let's change the type to gradient. And from here, I'm going to change this color to this color code. And the one over here, I'm just going to change this to 0 0.09. And if I press one on my keyboard, this is how it will look. But let's go ahead, change this over here and over here, something like this. Now I'm going to drag in this shape from here and let's keep this at plane, but unselect this log width and height. I'll change the width to 0 0.2 and height to five. And now I'm going to connect this background to the shape 3D and click on shape 3D and then press control space and search for render 3D. And now you will be able to connect it with the media out. All right, now let's move this right here and click on your shape 3D. And first of all, let's go over to transform and change the X to minus 0 0.26. Keep the Y at zero and change the Z to minus 1.36. Now let's also change the rotation for X to 99 and keep everything else at zero. Now, while you have your shape 3D selected, press control space and search for duplicate. And from here, let's change the copies to three and change the transform to 0 0.26 like this. Now let's select your duplicate 3D and press control space and search for merge 3D. So click on this merge 3D and add this right here. Now go ahead and drag this text 3D over here and connect it with the merge 3D one. And over here, let's type in 001. And I'm going to change the size to 1.89. And let's go over to shading and I'm going to change the opacity to 0 0.15. I'm going to drag the green and blue from here and first of all let's just unselect this use one material and now we're going to be using this bevel material and from here you need to change this to red so keep the red at one and the other ones at zero now go over to transform and from here change the y to 0 0.3 and the z to minus 0 0.96 you will see this in the background. It's not that visible, but this will look good on our main timeline, as you can see right here. Now let's drag in two more text nodes. Well, I'm going to start with this one and let's connect this to the Merge 3D and let's type in something. So the font that I'm using is Montserrat. Add bold and I'm going to change the color to red and the size to 0 0.25. Let's go over to transform and x at 0 but change the y to 0 0.695 and the z to minus 0 0.96. And let's go over and add another one and connect this right here. And let's type in this and let's use Montserrat once again. But this time I'm going to change this to black and the size to 0 0.44. Let's also change the color to red as well for this one. Go over to transform and change the Y to 0 0.564 and the Z to minus 0 0.96. So let's go over here and let me just slightly move this down like this. So this looks okay at 0 0.475 in the translation at Y. And we have this text done as well. 
Next, we're going to add our image. So I have this image of a person. If I press one over here, you will see this is the image. And for this one, since we are working with 3D, we need to be using this image plane 3D node. First of all, let me also just add this color corrector. Make sure this is connected to the media in and then connect the color corrector to image plane 3D1. Now over here in the image plane 3D1, you can just connect this to the merge 3D1 like here. But go over to this node image plane 3D in the transform and over here change the Y to 0.25, the Z to 0.1 and go over to scale and change this to 0.7. So you will see that this is visible now on our screen. Now go over to this color corrector and move this slightly towards the red so that this matches the theme of the video like this here you can see and once again in the color corrector we need to also decrease the gain so let's change this to 0 0.5 like this All right now that we have this done let's go over to the main timeline and right now i just want to show you that i have this footage over here of a short let me just play this for you and this is basically the inspiration for this video as well, this short. So I'm just using this as a short within this short. Uh, this is going to be just a display of the video, like a screen. And let me just show you what I mean. So you can just go ahead, download anything like this, any short from the internet that you like. And go back to Fusion Composition right here and drag this footage right here. Now go ahead and add this image plane 3d once again connect the media in the footage one which we have the short just connect this with the image plane 3d2 and then connect this with the merge 3d1 and now select the image plane 3d2 go over to transform and change the x to 0 0.215 keep the y at 0 change the z to 1.25 then change the x to minus 20.9 the y to minus 33.9 and keep the z at zero okay and now i'm going to select this scale and decrease this so that this is visible on our screen like this so at 0 0.24 this works for me and now you can just drag this x and y accordingly so that this fits in your screen let me just go over and change this to 0 0.15 or 1819 and this will depend on the footage that you're using. These are the settings that work for me. So I'm going to keep this right here. And let me also drag in this rectangle as the mask and connect this with the media in two and increase the width and the height, but also change the soft edge to 0 0.2. And you can also decrease this a little bit so that this looks interesting like this. And now you can go back to the image plane, see if this works if you increase this. So something like this, 0 0.2 looks okay. One more thing, go over to image plane 3D and in the material, change the opacity to 0 0.7 like this. All right, now we have the final step, which is to add a transform 3D node. So make sure you select your render 3D, press control space and search for transform. And from here, you can select this Transform 3D. Okay, so you need to add this to your Merge 3D and then connect this with the Render 3D and then Render 3D to the Media Out, like this. Now select your Transform 3D, go over to zero frames over here and create a keyframe at Y, at Translation and change this to minus 0.3. Now go over to 10 and create a keyframe over here and change this to 0. Now also create a keyframe for Z at 0 right here at 10. Then go over at 20 and create a keyframe at Y at minus 0 0.1 and then Z at 0 0.7. And also create a keyframe for this Z in the rotation section. Then go all the way to the end and change the Y to minus 0 0.15 the z to 0 0.9 
and go over to this z in the rotation and change this to minus 2.5 all right so if we play this right now this is how it will look okay so one thing we need to do over here go back to your fusion composition and since we created three frames for this transform 3d go over to spline and now we're going to change the keyframes a little bit so first of all let me go over to this y zoom in by pressing ctrl and your mouse scroll wheel and hit s on the keyboard while selecting the first two keyframes and you can slightly just move them and if you play this you can see how this looks now let's also go over to this keyframe hit s on the keyboard and let's see how this looks perfect now let's go over to the z1 create keyframes in the first two slightly move this right here and make sure this is in a straight line so that this doesn't get distorted and then select these hit s on the keyboard and if you play this Perfect. And finally, for the Z rotation, let's also select these and hit S on the keyboard and move them in. So we have our animation done as well. Now we're going to add something interesting to our animation over here. So select your render 3D node and then click on this brightness. Make sure that this is connected, then right click over here in the lift, go to modify with and then select shake. Then go over to the modifiers tab, change the smoothness to 1, keep the minimum at 0 and maximum change this to 0 0.1. And if you play this, you will see this slight brightness coming in and out. So let me go over to the main timeline and from here you will see we're getting a nice looking animation with this effect so we are done with our animation but right now i'm just going to create a copy and you can do this by dragging this clip while pressing alt on the keyboard and make sure that you are on the main timeline so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create three different copies so you can drag this upwards once and then once again so make sure you have these three different copies now let's go over to this one at the bottom Let's go and open Infusion page. And from here, I'm going to remove the text from here and the image plane and all of these other things from here. We're just going to keep our background like this with the settings that we have over here. Now go over to the timeline once again, then the one in the middle, click on this, open Infusion page. And from here, we're going to delete the image plane from here, the ones at the bottom. We're just going to keep the text in this one. And go over to brightness and remove this one we don't need this on the text and let's go over to the background and first of all let me just remove the shape from here or you can just remove all of these three from here so make sure you only have the text in this one and finally the one at the top go over and click open infusion page and in this one we will have our images so let's delete everything else and only keep the images like this Okay, so the reason we are doing this is so that we can add some more effects individually. So for example, I want to add a glow effect to the text. Let's go over in the middle composition. And from here, what you can do is select your render 3D, press control space and search for glow. Add this right here. Let's change the glow size to 50. So let's change this to 50 and the glow. Let's keep this at 0.7. So let's go over to the main timeline and here you can see this is how it looks. So previously you can now compare that this is how our text was and now it looks much more nicer. So these are some little individual effects that you can add to the text and then to the image as well. And this is how you can do it. And if you play this now, this is how it looks. So this is it for this video. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next video.